various frameworks. So in every web app technologies offers different kind of frameworks with each one supporting a specific use case in the development lifecycle. So framework is a part that we use to develop any website or any project um, for any client or uh, any real life purpose. So every language prefer any from different type of framework that help to, to specific development of life cycles. In Node.js framework uh, are mainly of three types uh, that are MVC, Twistack MVC and REST API frameworks. So MVC stand for model, view and controller. So frameworks provide us uh, these three types. So in, in MVC uh, there is a full control of the HTML and the CSS and then full stack MVC have the control of the overall full stack uh, website that uh, contains database backend and frontend both. Uh, and the API, REST API frameworks are used to develop an API. Uh, so many frameworks are there and that we use to uh, create an API that helps to fetch data from other websites and we can also make our own APIs. Uh, so mainly the many frameworks like ExpressJS and many others are used to uh, create an APIs. So there are five popular frameworks in the Node.js that we talk about today. So first it happy.js. So it introduced by the Aaron Hammer at Walmart while trying to handle traffic on Black Friday. So happy.js is introduced by the Aaron Hammer at Walmart. So when he working on the Black Friday, he trying to handle the traffic. So it is a powerful and robust open source best Node.js framework for developing JSON API. API. So happy dot js is introduced by hammer that is very powerful and robust open source that provide uh, provide us to developing json apis the so application programming interface servers website and http proxy applications are built with happy js so happy so happy js helps to create us a website http proxy api servers at extra various key features such as input validation implementation catching configuration based functionality error handling logging and more uh, these are the features that happy js provides us and the well developed plugin system can make the happy one of the most preferred framework so in the development happy dot happy dot js uh, gives us a huge um, features that we are we can use in our website so its uh, features are it is uh, in this we can reusable the code no external dependencies in happy dot js we no need to install any other dependencies like react yeah, in react we have to install other dependent these dependencies to run the react but in happy.js we no need to install any external dependencies and the happy.js is a secure and it has an integrated architecture and the second one is express.js uh, express is the most popular node web framework so in overall the world many developers use the uh, express.js and it is the underlying library for a number of other popular node web frameworks while express itself is fairly minimalist developer have created a compatible middleware package to address almost any development problem so in x so with the help of express.js developer create a compatible middleware so it help to interact with the backend and the frontend so um, the developer can make its own api that can store data and the user can directly interact with it and there are libraries to work with cookies, sessions, user login, user URL parameters, post data, security header, and many more. So ExpressJS gives us these type of feature like we can work with cookies, sessions, user logins. It also provides us authentication that a user can log in or log out from the website. So its features are writing handler for requests with different HTTP verbs and different URL paths. So we can request a HTTP request from different URLs path integrated with view set com common web application setting like the port to use it connecting so we can use the port number to connect with the website to connect with the web application so express js provide us the port and the location of template that are used for rendering the response and we can render to the any template that are located on that website and additional request processing middleware at any point within the request handling pipeline next is next js 
नेक्स्ट जी एस इज अ प्रोग्रेसिव नोट जी एस फ्रेमवर्क फॉर बिल्डिंग एफिशियंट रिलायबल एंड स्केलेबल सर्वर साइड एप्लीकेशन सो नेक्स्ट जी एस इज मेनली यूज फॉर द सर्वर साइड एप्लीकेशन दैट आर वेरी रिलायबल एंड एफिशियंट टू वर्क हेल्पिंग डेवलपर क्रिएट मॉडुलर हाईली स्केलेबल एंड मेंटेनेबल सर्वर साइड वेब एप्लीकेशन सो इन नेक्स्ट जी एस वी मेनली क्रिएट आ सर्वर साइड एप्लीकेशन दैट आर वेरी हाईली स्केलेबल मेंटेनेबल इन इम्प्लीमेंट्स द एम वी सी पैटर्न आर प्रोवाइडेड एक्सटेंसिबिलिटी सो नेक्स्ट जेस ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड एस एम वी सी पैटर्न द आउटस्टैंडिंग फीचर ऑफ नेक्स्ट जेस इज द नेटिव स्पोर्ट फॉर टाइप स्क्रिप्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट डोर जे एस इज ऑल्सो स्पोर्ट द टाइप स्क्रिप्ट विच लेट्स यू एक्सेस ऑप्शनल स्टेटिक टाइप चेकिंग अलॉन्ग विद स्ट्रॉन्ग टूलिंग फॉर लार्ज एप्स एंड द लेटेस्ट एक्मा स्क्रिप्ट फीचर्स सो इन नेक्स्ट जेस वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज टाइप स्क्रिप्ट दैट हेल्प टू एक्सेस द स्टेटिक टाइप चेकिंग अलॉन्ग विद स्ट्रॉन्ग टूलिंग Uh, the features of next js is extensible it is extensible allow us the use of any other library because of modular architecture thus making it really flexible so in next js we can also use any other library that makes it flexible versatile uh, it often adaptable ecosystem that is fully fledged backbone for all kind of server side applications and this is also progressive bring design pattern and sophisticated solution to node js world by taking advantage of latest javascript features and the next is mature javascript uh, it is also a platform for building application using node js with any front end framework so in mature js we can build any application with the help of front end framework like angular react or even blaze we can also use blaze to build a front end framework using the mature js which is the mature front end framework so mature is a front end framework that database is used in mongodb by yeah, default so in mature.js the database is mongodb by default and we can also change it and the features is zero configuration build tool providing code splitting and dynamic imports so it has zero configuration we can provide it code we can split the code and import any library dynamically it is faster and as it comes with real time features and mature is a fast and real time it contains real time features nicely integrated front end with back end it is also integrated with back end uh, with the help of front end so user can directly interact with the back end mature method that define server side functionality on the server and then call the method directly from the client side so mature you define a server side functions that can be called from the directly from the client side and not have to interact with the hidden api so in mature we not have to interact with the hidden api we can directly call the methods from the client side accounts and user authentication are excellently with mature it also provide us uh, uh, authentication process excellent platform for building as doesn't require code separate between its uh, all a part of and one code base that communicate smoothly so we don't have to separate the code in different libraries with different modules we can uh, combine the all codes and communicate smoothly with all the libraries and modules and the last one is total.js so total.js is a modular and modern uh, node.js 3 years old framework so this is a new this is going after the ecma script when the es6 comes after that total dot js is comes so it is 3 years old framework supporting the mvc architecture it also support the mvc architecture client side framework like angular js polymer backbone js bootstrap are fully compatible with the framework so we can use these frameworks like angular js polymer backbone bootstrap all are compatible with the total dot js this framework is extensible and asynchronous and offer excellent performance and stability this is very good that we can use this uh, framework to build the website so it is uh, has it contains excellent performance so there is no any no uh, any other functionality are used and it is easy to use and it is as uh, excellent performance any tools such as grunt are not required to compress it easy to use so we not we not have to require to compress it to use it we can use it directly and it also has a no sql embedded in it and support the array and other prototypes so it is a no sql embedded and it supports array and other prototypes like uh, dictionaries and uh, objects and et cetera and its features are rapid support and bug fixing so it uh, automatically support and uh, fixing the bugs support restful routing it also support the restful routings video streaming support themes sports worker store sports site map sports web socket sports model modules package and isomorphic code support image processing with gm or im
so these are the features of total js that's all sir okay so how can if, if you have any uh, uh, which one uh, do you think is good for you best one sir i am thinking that express.js is a uh, good for you because um, uh, i learned because i heard about more than uh, express.js and it, it is a very popular framework that you every developer used in mern stack so it is also part of mern stack developer and i want to be a mern stack developer so i will learn this framework and it is good for me sure so sure. others are also used in some or other companies but it is the right choice you can mm -hmm. learn express so if you know everything in express then by default uh, in other frameworks also you will be knowing at least 70 to 80 percent hardly 10 to yes, 15 percent are different which is uh, not a big deal whenever any company needs it you can just uh, explore it and you will be able to learn and work on it okay so yes, let me yes, give sir. you one next case study using express.js you uh, build api for login and logout login and uh, registration of a user so what you do is you okay. see our uh, website where uh, we are doing the registration right with uh, user id yes. password and uh, uh, forget password then uh, you have that roles and all right so build some yes, apis right. for that and for login also that will be your next activity okay sir so first i want to see what is your approach how you are trying to uh, design how you are trying to build it okay so i want to see how innovative you are trying to do so come back with your own designs and approach tomorrow don't code anything but design and code tomorrow and then i will guide you uh, what exactly you have to design okay so when i say oh, design okay, you need to do database design as well as api design so show okay, me the sir. database design and API design tomorrow. Then I will guide you uh, based on that. What will be the next step? Okay, sir. All right. Anything else? No, sir.